Nothing better represents the complexity of human experience and the struggles of families facing tough times. Through its unflinching focus on the Chandlers, Kenneth Lonergan's Manchester by the Sea truthfully reveals the heart, humor, and love of an American family in crisis. We meet the Chandlers after a family tragedy that threatens to tear them apart. The issues they confront, large and small, echo those faced by families across the country. The main character is Lee Chandler, and he has to go home because his brother has passed away. His brother has bequeathed the guardianship of his nephew to him, and uh, stories about their relationship and about the history of Lee in the town, which is, he has a tragic history in the town, which is why he left in the first place. Lee has to take care of his nephew, and their relationship is really moving. It's funny, and it's sad, and it feels very, very real. I have band practice. Can you drive me home to get my stuff, then drive me over to Sandy's house? Sure. Why don't you take a driver's ed course? His I'm not dad made chauffeur. me promise not to drive till I was 17. Okay, we'll stick with that then. Everyone in town knows the Chandlers and the tragic incidents that define them. The survivors have healing to do, and their love, patience, humor, and faith are stretched to the breaking point as they try to mend their frayed family ties. It's a really, really moving story in the way that you just don't see anymore. Kenny Lonergan writes in such a way that you never are really exactly sure what's gonna happen next. I can take care of it as far as the general maintenance is concerned, but that motor is gonna go at some point. I'm taking care Th of it. There's no allotment for a new motor. Unless, George, you know someone wants to buy it. Wait a second, I'm not selling it. We're gonna be in Boston anyway. What? Since when are we supposed to be in Boston? Just take it easy. Well, whatever you decide, it's gonna bleed you dry just sitting here. We don't, we don't know exactly what we're doing. Well, you know, he, he can always stay with us if he wants to come up weekends. Do you wanna be his guardian? Well, he doesn't we want to already, be my guardian. For Christ's sake, got got we're trying to lose kids, some kids at this point. We were incredibly grateful to have Michelle Williams a part of the film. Her performance was incredibly powerful. There's, you know, an authenticity there that people can identify with through her struggle through this tragic time, but also the courage that she brought to the situation. What the movie truly is about is about um, life after death. Um, when. Uh, life after tragedy, life after how people stay alive when they've um, suffered through a loss. I said a lot of terrible things to you. No. But I, I know you never... <laughs> Maybe you don't want to talk to me. It's not that. Let me, but let me finish. Not... However... My heart was broken. It's always going to be broken. But I know yours is broken, too. From Tennessee Williams to Arthur Miller to Eugene O'Neill, America has a rich history of dramatists whose unforgettable family portraits have enriched our culture. Thanks to Kenneth Lonergan, the Chandlers now take their place in that proud gallery of families who help define the American experience. So when am I supposed to move in with Georgie? July. I don't even have a place to live yet. They don't give you an apartment? Yeah, but I'm looking for one with an extra room. A room for a pull-out sofa or... What for? With its gut-wrenching yet hopeful portrayal of the Chandlers, Manchester by the Sea sets a new standard for the family drama in American cinema.